In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the gladiator effect supplied with X lights. So here you can see the gladiator icon, and I'm going to pull that onto a mega tree. And anybody who's used this plugin before, you know, or tried to use it, will realize it just comes up with, you know, a blank effect, so nothing. This is because you need a separate tool to create the files that this is going to use and the tool in question is gladiator so i've got gladiator running here and just a few settings you must make before you use gladiator is you must set your matrix size so i'm putting this on a mega tree so i'm uh, it's a 24 by 50 string mega tree uh, 24 strings by 50 pixels and i've quickly just made up a an animation that will go through but within this tool you can build up a complete animation for your entire three minute show whatever it may be to go onto a matrix uh, with and this includes text and everything uh, and you can do crossfades you can actually do a live performance while the music is playing as well but i've just created this uh, quick one here so if you look this center screen is what's going to be happening but it's all being automated at the moment so I'll just stop that and I now need to create that gladiator file to do that I go to extras recorder and I click record and I now must generate a file name so I'm just going to call this fill demo on my desktop and save and it's starting to record now so all I need to do is record some frames of animation and that should be good enough for the demo click stop now if I go back to my X lights I can now load that fill demo and there you go we have our animation all done Okay, and this can be quite nice because this is not an effect that people use a lot. So you, you can get some quite unique effects and you can blend them in that gladiator. Uh, if there's enough demand, I will do a tutorial on gladiator itself. But for now, it's just to cover the gladiator plugin. You see there's an option to loop the effect. Just normal, so it will play through the effect that I recorded for the amount of seconds that I recorded and then it will stop. Just there, and then there's also a slowed down version if you know you happen to have you know it was it was too quick, you can slow it down a little bit, but you can see it goes across the timeline of the animation. So until next time, thank you very much.